up. Long time. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a happy and comfortable lockdown or riot or whatever you're doing. Anyway, it's been a lazy month for me, but I have actually got some of these jobs knocked out and uh, the car is pretty much ready to go to the paint paint shop. So I thought I would do this little update now because I haven't done one in probably like a month or something. And also it's probably the last chance you're gonna get to see the car until after it's been painted or whatever. It depends if I can get some video when it's being painted. But I'm gonna try and give a bit of a rundown on what I've done in the last month. But to be honest, I can't believe, can't remember what I had done in the last video. But anyway, I've got the cowlings done for the fans. So down there, I actually remounted the radiator because I wanted a bit more space. Once I got the cowlings on there, there wasn't actually enough space to change the um, alternator belt if I needed to. So yeah, I remade that mount. I also put some rubber donut mounts at the bottom. So the radiator is slightly lower and it's not quite as tilted back, but hey, whatever. Also whacked on these mounts down here, which need fully welding, but I'll do that once the tube front comes off. And that is for like front splitter and stuff to mount to. And then, and then what else have I done? Got these coolant pipes all on and the uh, AN8 feed pipe, which is this one down here. And it goes down to that water neck. So that's that done. All the boost control stuff's hooked up. What else? It's gotta be other stuff. Oh yeah, so I was gonna, I made like a fancy cowling that actually matched up to the bonnet, which is down there on the floor, all cut up. I didn't like it. It looked like air conditioning equipment for a factory. But anyway, uh, I think the plan is to make some sort of uh, like a duct that will mold into the bottom of the bonnet like be glued into the bottom of the bonnet but to be honest <laughs> I don't even know if I need to I mean the fan is almost almost touching the fins and I don't think I think these fins are going to create these fins are going to create low pressure area behind each fin and even when you go in sideways even these side fins will create like a low pressure area which I think will help draw draw out the um, hot air which is being pushed out by the fan anyway so maybe at a later date I'll do that but it's not really something to worry about I got a couple of extra relays so I've got a full bank of five relays on there I mean the wiring still looks like a right mess at the moment it isn't as bad as it looks and like for example this whole lump of loom here is all going to be cut out and there's a lot of stuff that's going to be cut out like all these switches and or plugs for switches and stuff a lot of it's going to go um i also did the fuel tank vent so it goes up it goes up there and then it comes back down and for a bulkhead fitting to the outside of the car but I, I want to change this pipe and I want to change that fitting. I want to put a 90 on there and I want the pipe to come right up over the top and I want to try and eliminate this tight radius so it breathes a bit better. Don't think that's going to make much difference. It's, I don't think it's fully pinched. And then under here, which you might not be able to see. Hang on, let me turn the light on. There we go. So as you can see, there is a mini filter so that will um, make sure no crap ends up being sucked into the tank and uh, what I'll probably do is take that off and just put a push on push on like breather little K&M breather filter or something that you'd have on your rocker cover that'll probably be sufficient 
Uh, what else have I done? Try to mount... Uh, focus, you fuck. Try to mount a passenger seat, but I just need to... I need to make new rails. I need to get rid of these rails and do some new ones. But then on the other side, I'll show you. Now, let me turn this light off a minute. Hang on. Off. I re-drilled these holes 20 mil lower. So my, now my seat is actually 20 mil lower and it feels much better. Oh yeah, door bars. I've got door bars in there. So I've made the door bars. They are in pretty much the only place they could go because of the fill and neck. They seem high here, but I think they offer a decent amount of protection. The only reason it feels high is because my elbow is dangerously close to here when my arms are flapping, but no more dangerously close than an MX-5, so we can live with that. You can see like the door handle literally only just, only just clears the tube. Oh, this focus is shit. Yeah, so only just clears the tube, but it does clear, so we're good there. What else have I done? I made a little bulkhead fitting for the vacuum pipe. Oh, hang on, hang on. Down in there, which that blue vacuum pipe's come off of us, just a AN3 bulkhead fitting that I've machined so that the vacuum pipe goes on for for the ECU. I'm not using AN line because it's too hard and it and it doesn't stay on the map sensor. And then on the uh, engine bay side of things, I've just got, oh, you can't even see in there, but there yeah, there's, oh, you can see there actually it's up there um, yeah AN free line so it's all AN pipes in the engine bay the only ones that aren't are the intercooler pipes and the coolant pipes as you already probably know uh, I started to make some ducting which is this piece here so that ducting goes on top of the radiator and at like this sort of level, so it goes straight across to the radiator to separate the airflow between the radiator and the intercooler. But that's something that's going to wait until it's at the body shop because when it's at the body shop, I have access to a sheet metal folder, which will make my life a lot easier. What else have I done? I cut the doors out, which you would have just seen a minute ago. I cut the boot lid out. The doors still need tidying up. They've just been cut out rough, but these are all done. And I've filled in the holes, the door handle, and the number plate lights, the number plate, and I think there the lock. I think that's everything filled up. Yeah, that's everything I've filled there. And then, I mean, there's a million little jobs I've been doing. I can't even remember half of them now. But that's basically where I'm at right now. And bar one or two jobs like bonnet pins. So I've got, uh, I've got these bonnet pins. The only downside to them is they're steel. But I like them because they're rounded on the end. They're not that blade type. So... It's really, really easy to just close the, the bonnet or the boot lid. Nothing, it always lines up. It just hits the pin and just, you know. But yeah, they're going to go in somewhere like that. And what I'm going to do, which is the same as what I did on the rear, is I'm going to weld in, weld these nuts to these tubes and then cut the tube at whatever length and then weld it weld it into here somewhere around here I'd imagine but I did exactly the same on the rear which looks like which looks like this as you can see and I'll quickly give you a demo of how easy it is to get it to line up hang on a bit of wood okay now so yeah as you can see 
lines up beautiful. The only problem is I need to cut. Yeah, I'll try and I've got to cut a bit of the skin away on the inside of the boot lid so that the locking nut doesn't foul the hang on. Oh, this is ham fisted, isn't it? There we go. So yeah, that's that's that. I went and got rid of the door handle purely because the boot's so light now you just lift it up from there. Seems pointless to have a handle. And yeah, I think that is probably about your lot. I don't think there is much else that I've done, to be honest. I don't think there's much else I've, that I've done. So that's going to be it for now. And God knows when the next video will be. But if I can... If I can keep the updates or start getting the updates going again once it's at at the paint shop then I will but if not then uh, maybe I'll be getting a chassis onto this jig in the next week or so so that'll be so I'll make some videos about that or something but anyway that'll be it for now so ciao